Hello guys, Canadian guy here. If you're new to my channel, do me a favor, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm gonna give you something about myself. Like I say, if you're new, this is new to me. Uh, one of my professions, I am a liquidator. Uh, you've seen all these shows on TV, uh, YouTube unboxing. Uh, I think the, the new TV show a little while ago came out, um, Extreme Unboxing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a show and it's the Canadian version. But this is a reality of unboxing. I'm gonna show you guys what it's really like. Uh, you know, you see a lot of these YouTubers or, uh, I mean, most of them are pretty good, but then you get a lot of these other ones, especially the TV show Extreme Unboxing where, you know, they bring these things in, they're making thousands of dollars. Nah, you know what, not happening. Um, for people that have thought about this kind of business, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, if you're looking where you think you can make a fast dollar, um, a lot of money, or money really quick, this is not for you. Um, I, I understand you watch some of these shows and you know they're buying these pallets. Uh, well, first of all, in Canada, let's just say you're not buying pallets at 10%, you know, 10 cents on the dollar. It doesn't happen, you're not getting it anywhere. Uh, you're more or less gonna be paying on the very, very low side, 20 cents on the dollar, all the way up to about you know, 35 cents, anything more than that, I mean, you're, you're losing your money. Um, I sell, try to sell my stuff, give or take, I like to at least get 50, 60% of retail. Uh, predominantly, most of my stuff is around the, the 40 to 50% so I can get it in, get it out. Um, just, you know, keep watching. I have a load in the back of my truck, I just picked it up. Uh, the reality of it, here we go. Uh, I don't have tractor trailers dropping it off and then somebody wheeling it into my warehouse, having a nice setup or, or my garage. So as you can, I'm gonna show you right now, there you go. I don't know if you guys can really see that with the light, but I got a, I got a pallet in the back of my pickup truck. And uh, I'll tell you what, when I get back home, I'll flip this back on and uh, I'll show you what it's like. The, the reality of, here you go, you have a seven foot Gaylord in the, in the back of a truck. It's freezing cold, it's January, and how long it's gonna take to put all these things out, put them in a tote, get them in the house, and then I'm gonna make multiple shows of showing you what I get, what kind of profit I can make, and you know, if I even make a profit. So, and you know, until I get back, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Hey, how you guys doing? We're finally back. Five hours on the road. That's drive time, strap down time, and uh, here we go. So, you know, so we got. Let's get this pallet off. I'll set you guys down on strapper, and then I'll bring you up and take a peek look, see what we can find inside. Hopefully, something good. This is what we call right here Christmas time. Why is it Christmas time? Because it's either going to be opening a bunch of presents, or unfortunately, it's going to be a lot of coal.
guys you know what who knows look at that peppa pig peppa pig really books i got enough books to last i can make my own library of books guys you know my own library it's ridiculous i'm gonna bring you up here show you what i deal with there we go you guys see any of this stuff you know now it's just a matter of going going through everything and seeing if we can either make a buck lose a buck or break even so I'm going to sit back down. I'm going to try and get this stuff off. Probably looking at a couple hours worth of time here. And uh, I'll take the stuff down and we'll go through it. There we go, guys. Look at this. Got that. Got that. There we go. That'll make everything come a little bit better. Hey, what do you think? Huh? What do you think, guys? Come on. Come on. You want to buy this? Hit me up. It's for sale. charging thing. this garbage oh, gonna be 
be hard to make money on this one. Gonna be losing on this one. Uncle Ben's Bistro Rice. Share shit. Getting two thousand dollars back selling this crap. If you like rice, hit me up. Give you a deal. Rice, guys, rice. Come on. Roby sells better tasting rice than I do. I'm gonna turn you guys off for a while. This is probably gonna take me another hour, hour and a half, go through this. I'm gonna make it nice and quick and uh, I'll see you on the next one.